five New Jersey residents signed the Declaration of Independence in July 1776. Each one put his life and liberty in danger with the stroke of a quill pen. Francis Hopkinson had been appointed to the Royal Council for New Jersey in 1774, but he resigned soon after, having become an ardent supporter of independence. John Witherspoon used his position as president of the College of New Jersey, now Princeton, to advocate civil and religious liberty, and ultimately, independence. Abraham Clark of Elizabethtown was an ardent radical who advocated for greater equality in the state and nation. John Hart was a large landowner and early advocate for independence. He held much of the financial responsibility for the state in its early years. Richard Stockton, out of all five, suffered the most devastating consequences following his decision to sign. He was captured in the Army's retreat across New Jersey in the fall of 1776, and his possessions and estate were seized by the British. Fighting for independence had real consequences for these and many other men and women throughout New Jersey. It Happened Here, New Jersey is a production of Kane University in cooperation with the New Jersey Historical Commission, enriching the present by exploring New Jersey's past.